For many years, gene therapy has been a hope on a distant horizon. But today, with the first gene therapies approved in the U.S. and others looking promising in research, people affected by genetic diseases are beginning to see gene therapy as a real possibility in their lifetime. To identify questions that patients and caregivers may have, the National Organization for Rare Disorders, or NORD, reached out to our members and social media followers. Here are the questions most frequently shared with us. We've been hearing about gene therapy for 20 years. Why is it suddenly getting so much attention? In the past 10 years, there have been significant discoveries about DNA and ways in which it can be manipulated. This has caused a resurgence in excitement within the scientific community, pushing more preclinical and now clinical studies. In addition, sponsorship, awareness, and preclinical successes have increased, and the Food and Drug Administration has approved some gene therapy drugs. Is gene therapy a cure? Because it is still in the experimental phase, it is not known if gene therapy is a cure, but that is the goal. Can the changes gene therapy causes be passed on to future generations? There are two different types of cells, somatic and germ. Germ cells exist as eggs and sperm and only have one set of chromosomes. These are the cells that are passed to offspring. Somatic cells are present everywhere else in the body and have two sets of chromosomes. Right now, gene therapy is only given to somatic cells and therefore the changes it causes cannot be passed on to offspring. It is possible that in the future, gene therapy could occur in germ cells, but right now that is not happening. How long is the treatment? What does it entail? And does it reach every cell in the body? Treatment can be given systemically or injected into the affected area. Systemic treatments are given via IV and are typically longer, up to a few hours. This also depends on your weight. A large adult will receive more gene therapy than a small child, so the treatment will be longer. Injected treatments are completed immediately, as soon as the fluid is injected into the area. Gene therapy that is administered systemically does have the potential of reaching all somatic cells, depending on the dose, but gene therapy is more often targeted to only the diseased cells. Why are there variations in responses? There are many reasons for this. One is that every individual has different DNA, so gene therapy may work better for some than for others. In addition, there is variability in the success of the drug, how effectively the gene is delivered to cells, how many cells need the gene to function, and how much enzyme the introduced gene produces. Is it safe? What are possible side effects? As with any drugs, side effects are possible and expected. Normal immune system responses such as fever are common, but severe responses do occur. But it is important to remember that no drug can be given to humans until there have been preclinical safety studies and the data approved by the FDA. Why does it cost so much? The price is high because it is expensive to research and create the drug. In addition, right now, it is difficult to make on a large scale, so it takes time. But it is important to consider that for many disorders, gene therapy could relieve some symptoms, reducing other medical costs. Will insurance pay for it? It is currently unknown if insurance will pay for it. One gene therapy on the market has been covered by some insurance companies. Some companies developing gene therapies are exploring ways to connect the costs to how well the treatment is working. Who will be able to receive gene therapy? Will it be only those with severe or life-threatening disease? Before gene therapy can become widely available, it will likely be tested on more severely affected patients. Most scientists are currently focusing on development of gene therapies for severe disorders. In addition, Individuals who have already been exposed to the virus in which the gene therapy is packaged will not be eligible for treatment. The viruses used in gene therapy are naturally occurring and benign, but still foreign to the body. Because of this, individuals can come in contact with the virus and antibodies develop. Those antibodies would destroy the gene therapy before it could be effective if that person were to be treated with gene therapy. What is the difference between gene therapy and gene editing? Gene therapy is the introduction of a new gene to the cell to compensate for a mutated gene. Gene editing replaces an existing gene in the patient's DNA with a correct copy. Gene editing can involve removing a mutated gene, adding a correct gene, or both, 
kind of like cut and paste. How can I find out if a gene therapy clinical trial is available for my condition? The best way to find out is by asking your specialty care provider or on clinicaltrials.gov where all U.S. clinical studies are publicly listed. These are important topics for individuals and families affected by genetic diseases. NORD will be following developments related to gene therapy over the coming months, and we will continue to share information and updates.